final book in the Warriors series, at least the original one. And the good old book that I have read many times over, and an epic battle within it, and some nice little tension and some good messages. Hello, fellow book questers! It is I am the book quester. Today, I have this awesome, epic Warriors book for you guys today. The Darkest Hour Warriors Book 6, the original series by Erin Hunter herself slash himself. And well, let's get right on to it. So, the book basically starts with Firestar receiving his nine lives as the new leader of Thunderclan after Blue Star's death in Book 5. And basically, he becomes a star, and then he hears a prophecy got it written down right here. The prophecy that he got from Starclan while he was receiving those nine lives were... Four will become two, lion and tiger will meet in battle, and yeah, that's pretty much it, so yeah, it's pretty ominous, like, how will four become two, and tigers and lions are the ancient clans that the clans are ancestored from, so we're kind of scared because we don't know what this next prophecy would bring, and prophecies usually mean a lot of death and chaos, so that's great. And then we find out that Tiger Star has united River Clan and Shadow Clan into Tiger Clan. And they are super aggressive and they want Thunder Clan and Wind Clan to join up too. And now that's not good, that's against everything the clan stood for. So basically, nope, Wind Clan and uh, Fire Clan, I mean, Thunder Clan refused. And that was pretty epic. And then it became a pretty much a big problem. And so basically they refused and they just left the gathering. And Tiger Star said that he was giving them time to think. Which is kind of ominous in a way. And then Tiger, and then Firestar and Grystripe and Ravenpaw who had come and just was hanging around I guess and traveling. Together they go and see if Greystripe's kids are okay, and they find out that Tiger Clan had been imprisoning the Half Clan cats. So, Greystripe and Silverstream's kids, Featherpaw and Stormpaw, and also Miss, also Mistyfoot and Stonefur, who are Blue Star's kids, they're trapped in a hole, and they're literally just. That's bad. That's messed up. And then, and so Firestar and Greystripe goes to rescue them, but it's a little too late. And Tiger Star forces Darkstripe to fight our dear. Who do we know? Who do we know? Stonefur. And of course, Stonefur is weak and starved, so he dies, and it's over. And but Firestar, Greystripe, and Ravenpaw manages to rescue three cats: Featherpaw. Stormpaw and Nessiefoot from the deadly clutches of Tiger Clan and brings them into Thunder Clan for a very impermanent stay. After that, when they go to the next gathering, Tiger, uh, Tiger Clan has gathered and it's their one last chance to join Tiger Clan peacefully. And what Tiger Star did, he brought in some rogue cats who, who called themselves Blood Clan. And they are rogue cats that lived in the Twala place, Two Lake place, and they are not friendly. They have dog's teeth to reinforce their their claws, and they're, they look super dangerous. And we have we might have to fight them. And Tiger Star basically used these new guys as bait, basically as bait, in order for Thunder Clan and Wind Clan to be intimidated and join Tiger Clan. And then when they refuse, Tiger, Clan, Tiger Star says, Blood Clan attack! But no one listens. Why? Because Blood Clan follows their own leader, known as Scourge. Tiger Star is super enraged. And when Firestar finally tells the story of Tiger Star's evil, his ambition, and what he did to Blue Star and Thunder Clan, everyone is shocked. And Scourge decides that he does not follow Tiger Star's lead. Tiger Star is super mad about it and attacks Scourge, but after a brief and unbalanced battle, Scourge rips all of Tiger Star's nine lives that he was given from Star Clan. Ripped. Just destroyed. And after that, Tiger Star, after that, after that happened, 
Tiger Star was dead. And Firestar was super shocked because he always thought that there would be an epic battle between Tiger Star and Firestar and that one would come out victorious, but apparently not because it was just over and it was bittersweet in many ways. And now Blood Clan was giving them a couple days to get out, pack up, and get out of the forest because the forest was apparently now Blood Clan's, or that's what Scourge claimed. And Tiger Clan, broken and without a leader, goes back to their new united camp, and Thunder Clan and Wind Clan go back. And Tallstar and Firestar shake hands or shake paws, whatever cats do, and they create an alliance in order to fight against Blood Clan they call a Lion Clan. And then Firestar basically manages, manages to, um, let's say, convince Leopard Star and Blackfoot, who is the new leader of Shadow Clan, who is the deputy of Shadow Clan, but he's kind of, yeah, he's the leader, I guess, that position. And they unite what is now called Tiger Clan, that kind of re-separated into Shadow Clan and River Clan already, into Lion Clan in a temporary alliance in order to fight the Blood Clan. And they charge, and they go and attack Blood Clan in a final epic battle. Scourge kills Firestar ones, but he doesn't know. He doesn't know about Star Clan. Firestar is a noble clan leader with nine lives. He doesn't die that easily. And even with losing one life, he returns as strong as ever and strikes down Scourge in one epic showdown. And that was the end of the epic battle, and the clan separated and lived in peace. Some minor details. I'm trying to rem I'm trying to see if I remember who gave Firestar's nine lives. Let's try to list them all, shall we? Blue Star, Spotted Leaf, Red Tail, Silver Stream, Running Nose, Lionheart, Brindle Face. At seven. Oh goodness, I don't remember the next two. Let's see if I can find them real quick. Yellow Fang is one. Yeah, that's that's seven and that's eight. Including Yellow Fang. Come on. I forgotten Silver Stream. Um Red Tail Lionheart Running Wind Brindle Face Swift Paw That's nine finally so it's Foss the Apprentice who died to the dogs. So if I now list them, Blue Star, Yellow Fan, Spotted Leaf, Red Tail, Lionheart, Swift Paw, Brindle Face. That's eight. I'm still forgetting. And Lionheart. That's nine. Nine cats from Star Conquer gave Fire Star their lives. I just wanted to point that out. Just saw if I could test my memory a little bit. And this book is basically about kind of like a sense of community because even if, for example, some business companies are rivals with each other, they can sometimes come together to help the greater good. For example, if Samsung and LG, they're incredible, they're, they're opponents, but if Korea is in danger, then they'll probably put their hands together and try to do something about it. So kind of like creating an alliance for the greater good and community and stuff. And it also is really epic and super like action packed. So I really loved it as a guy who loves action. And that's pretty much it. Like always, your book quester, Aaron the Book Quester. It is a great Warriors book as usual. I finally reviewed the first season of Warriors. Unfortunately, or should I say, I'm glad about it. There's still several more seasons of Warriors to go, including the new prophecy, the power of three, Omen of the Stars. The Vision of Shadows, A Broken Code, Dawn of the Clans, which is like the history of the clans, and super editions and novellas. And I don't want, I don't read the mangas, but there are the mangas if you want to read them. And oh gosh, there's, that's quite a bit of books to a bookquester.